And we're going to start off with this. As many of you guys know, there's this movie coming out in December called Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. No. It's, it's movie. true. A lot of people are talking about and speculating already, as people tend to do with Star Wars movies, about what's going to be in it, what's going to be part of it, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're somebody like me who loved The Force Awakens, and I enjoyed The Last Jedi, one of the differences is, though, that there's a, di there's a distinct energy level difference between the two. Now, not every movie needs high energy level or whatever, but there is a distinct energy level. The Force Awakens just had seemed to have like this kinetic, constant like hard hitting motion to it and energy to it. The last shot I went from over somber tone, things like that. It's just a difference of styles. However, it kind of sounds like maybe we might be getting back to that higher kinetic energy thing. One of the stars of the film, Daisy Ridley, was recently being interviewed, and she was asked about things that we should look forward to. Now, we know from the released photos from Episode Nine that there is at least one big lightsaber fight coming up between Kylo Ren and, of course, Daisy Ridley, Ridley's character. But now Daisy Ridley's talking about that a little bit, and she's talking about it in pretty glowing terms. This is what Daisy Ridley had to say about the upcoming thing. This is uh, from our friends over at Cinema Blend. She wrote, she says... We have a great fight, a great fight. And I was really happy that the Vanity Fair pictures did show a bit of it. It's a great fight, in case you didn't catch that. Like I've become uh, like I've become such a better fighter and they've made the lightsabers lighter. So it actually looks like we're swinging light and not like heavy swords. Then she goes on to say a little bit. And by the way, you get a little picture of that picture that they put up in Vanity Fair as well, which I really did like that picture. And talking about that picture, she says, this fight we did was it was november we had water being thrown at us and i got a real i got a great deal of respect because it did i did not i was i'm not going to complain about the cold i'm just not going to do it and then she laughs so it was like the real thing of a real thing of stamina it feels really epic and it felt epic even at the time imagine we had the waves like this and they're going to make the waves bigger and one can only imagine what it's going to look like rob it's Shock! Star of upcoming movie says something good about their upcoming movie. Uh, obviously, you got to take that with a grain of salt, but it's always better than not to hear the star of an upcoming movie being really enthusiastic and being very energetic and being very anxious about something that they did in a movie coming to screen. Now, I thought that J.J. Abrams would probably bring back that same sort of energy he had from the first one. That would be a higher level of energy than we got from, say, uh, The Last Jedi. And it sounds from something like this that that is exactly what he's doing. Number one, what do you think about Daisy's comments? And am I reading too much into it thinking we're going to get a higher energy level? Or do you think that's what they're doing? First of all, I don't understand J.J. Abrams' obsession with water. Like he sticks the Starship <laughs> Enterprise. flares. He, yeah, he sticks the Starship Enterprise underwater. How do you fight with the lightsaber? As soon as the first wave touches your lightsaber, wouldn't it go and short out? This like, I would love... This the, is Kyber Crystal. The, this is not Duracell The Mad Magazine batteries. parody. Who knows? I mean, I think it would be really funny if they're about to have this epic battle, a wave crests over them, and their, their lightsabers just short out in the water. And they're left to only fight with their bare hands, drag out, bare knuckle, fist fight, using force powers, and that's it. I know that's not what we're going to get. But I, I have a, prob a problem with lightsaber duels in the water. I just do. I don't know. I have to see it. I'll have to buy off on it. But look... All things aside, I, I hope this movie's great. I'm excited to see it. I really hope Darth Maul shows up, cuts Kylo Ren in half, and Daisy Ridley has to fight Darth Maul because that would be awesome. If you're going to bring back Palpatine, why not bring back Darth Maul? They did in Solo. He's still around. Yeah, but because the ages were right in Solo. Nope. The ages worked. That that wouldn't work. Here. Darth Maul's just a little it, older. No, we a already know they, they killed Darth Maul in Star Wars Rebels. He's, he's, oh, he's dead, they? dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Obi-Wan right. Kenobi and him had their, their well, was, uh, second fight, and Obi-Wan killed him yeah, that time. Yeah, but they killed him. Phantom Menace, he came back. Well, so. but he didn't die. See, well, they he, made a robot. They made a spider I, body. I'm not kidding. Anyway, they made a spider body. They could clone him. <laughs> They yeah. could force ghosts possess whoever, like Palpatine. Maybe they could sure. build, They could have, I don't know. But anyway, look, I want to see this movie. I hope it's epic. I hope it's great. I, I mean, that said, I think a fight in the water, that picture is pretty epic. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. And we know there's some kind of water because that's what the destroyed Death Star is. Where is that? Oh, I don't right, know. Yeah. yeah, I want to see I, I, a, a battle on the beach with crashing waves, with the, with the wrecked Death Star in the background. That can only be with good. With some badass John Williams music playing yeah, in the background. I'm and, in. Mm. I'll, I'll watch that. But you know what? I'm going to wait and see. 
my jury's gonna 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 be deli- deliberating until the morning after. So. I can't wait. Well, you hear this, Chris. You hear like an actress talking about your energy level. Does yeah. that, I mean, look, are you as jaded as me where it's like, oh, actor saying good things about a movie they're coming in on? Or or it does that help get your enthusiasm up for a movie when you see one of the stars being really enthusiastic about it? I mean, it is kind of a mixed bag. Of course, when you're doing press, you're not going to say bad things. You're not going to promote your next film saying, this is absolute trash. Come see my dumpster <laughs> fire. That's just not smart. <laughs> but it is exciting to see her so excited about this, especially because Daisy Ridley has been so vocal about loving being able to be physical in her films. She's loved getting to do her own fighting. So the fact that she's extra pumped about this is very cool. I loved that fight scene too, by the way, in uh, Last Jedi in the in the chamber room. Oh, yeah. I, I really mean, that was like insane. That fight, yeah. And if you want high energy, watch the YouTube one where they sync it up to Queens Don't Stop Me Now. It's incredible. Oh, I did see uh, that. It's that was- so good. So I, I feel like this bodes well. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I've really enjoyed this part, these uh, first two movies of the trilogy that they're doing now. Uh, I really liked Last Jedi. Sorry, Internet. Um, so I'm excited about this. And you know, Rob, I think what we're going to have here is if the lightsabers get hit by water, then we're going to have a steam fight and make all the See, ladies who are hot and bothered for Kylo Ren feel very happy. That's exactly that's what I was going to say. Exactly yeah. thing. I think water's going to hit. It's going to be like a mosquito hitting the purple light thing. Psst, I think water's going to hit and you're just going to see steam. steam all that kind of stuff. But we'll see. What do you guys think about that? Do you, are you, again, a little bit jaded? like me it's like oh wow actors saying good things or does it actually get you a little bit more enthusiastic seeing that one of the performers is that excited about it jump down the comment section below and let me know your thoughts all right